Hey, welcome to episode two of our new Coffee Break segment. I sat down with a couple of friends of mine, Chris Engel K and Kevin Ferguson. You might remember Kevin from a previous episode. We're going to talk about education. Little disclaimer for this episode, we recorded it outside, so you might hear some birds chirping and being a little noisy. Sorry about that. Please stick with us. Keep listening. Hope you enjoy it. Education, yeah, it's, it's real important. You always have to be learning something. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So we were, we were talking about education in regards to um, fire, right? And then getting your our associates in fire science. And then what do we do from then? When did you get your associates? I was like a senior airman, I think. Because uh, I had some college before I came in. So okay. it was, I only had to do I think, two classes, two or three classes. And I did them via club. So it was easy for me. Yeah, for me, it was, uh, it was a little longer. I mean, I did have college classes and stuff, but I was doing everything else except for finalizing, you know, the, the last of the classes you had to have the speech and those things. So uh, I, I think I finally got mine in 2014 or something. So oh, somewhere, yeah. somewhere around there. So, I, I mean, I was focused mainly on the certifications and stuff. It wasn't a, a real big thing that you, that you had to have your CCF. It, you know, we knew it was coming down, but it was, it wasn't like a priority for me. You didn't have to have it to promote or anything. At no, the time, not, not, so. not at that time. No. I know when I came in, I, I wasn't really set on education or anything. So I think it was 2011 when I really thought about it. Hey, I need to get my associates when I uh, went to ALS. And I finally was like, all right, so what's next? I, I have these credits. What do I have to do to get my associates? I think I only had to take two, two more classes after that to get my associates. You, I mean, do you think doing the CCAF helped you in any way? I mean, or was it just a box to check? Box to check, honestly. Yeah. You know, like uh, you already had the certifications. I mean, it's the one thing that I would say that was beneficial is it forced you that you had to get into some sort of education outside of the military environment. So yeah. it, it, mostly I would say it was a box to check, but uh, I, I would also say that the benefit to it is it sort of broke you out of that comfort zone of just doing your military education and uh, getting involved with a, with a private institution, you know, that, that communicated with the Air Force for the, the CCAF. And then if you want to do more, you do more. But I don't really uh, think that we see the benefit if we stay in. I don't think we as military members see the benefit of the associate's degree. Um, we see the benefit more towards, hey, um, what what do we want to do after the associate's degree? Like, Well, do you think the CCF is going to help you get a job? Say you either got out or retired, especially like getting out after four years, right? You're a young, you're a young airman or something like, is that going to help you go out and get a job at X civilian department? Or, I mean, it's probably not going to hurt, sure, but. Is it really going to give you an advantage? Can't really say, you know, like uh, just in some of the stuff that I've been reading, some of it says, yes, it is beneficial. And uh, but it's uh, you don't know what you don't know. So I don't think it's anything that's I don't think if you're working on anything to, to better yourself, it, it, it only benefits you. You know, uh, it just depends on where you want to move, where you want to live, what you want to do. Um, I think it I think I think it's. It's helpful. It's definitely not harmful. Uh, my my thing is like I don't I don't know if you get a associates in fire science, you're gonna get out and get you're gonna want to be a firefighter, right? Maybe. So yeah, a lot of people don't. So what, what I don't know what you would use it for uh, for fire science. I mean, me, I, I clearly stayed in because that's not um, wasn't my ending point. So. Um, I, I found something better to, to chase after uh, and for, for my living, for my standards, for what I want to do further. But I'm, I'm not sure exactly what the benefit of the CCA. I, I, I see it as a benefit, man. So you leave with a degree, right? Yep. So on the, on the application, wherever, even if you go work at McDonald's, you can check. I don't have a high school degree, I have a college degree. What was your highest right? level of education, right? right? So that's a benefit right yep. there for sure. And then... You know, you if you're going to go work at a fire department, you built in some knowledge on on your career field. And I think that's important. 
Yeah. Right? So I think I think uh, it is important to have that degree program, no matter really what it is. But if you're going to go work at a fire department, it's not going to hurt. So and it's free, right? Yep. And, and in most cases, you can use TA, you can clap, you can do all stuff. It's free. I don't see any harm in it. I think it's beneficial. And it, help, it will help you go to that next step, which is what we were talking about, kind of led to this discussion was bachelor's degrees and what, what program would be kind of the most advantageous going towards a fire, you know, another level of fire degree or emergency management or just business leadership. Something similar, you know, tied depending on where you're at in life. Uh, and what you're gonna and I wouldn't say to, it's free, right? you know, like there's investment. Of course, but yeah, that's time. a pr- that's that investment in that you want to make in yourself. Years. <laughs> <laughs> that's so long. It's right? like Van Wilder, right? Yeah, yeah. Get a, you got to get one of those cool golf carts. It's one. <laughs> it's one hundred percent investment. I like what you said yeah. there because it's um, a personal investment. You can't just say, "Hey, I have an associate's degree," or "I'm working towards this this degree," um, and not say you didn't put any time or effort yeah. into it. Um, but it, a lot of a lot of that goes into yeah what you were saying earlier. What are you going to do after this career? Well, and how are you going to finish your career too? Like, are, is your plan to make chief? Is your you know what what are you going to commission? Like, I think it's individualized. Um, if your plan is to become the best fire chief you can be and stay in for thirty years in the Air Force, then maybe a fire administration degree is your best bet for emergency management. But if your plan is to get out at twenty. Or, or sooner and go work at, you know, wherever that's not fire or emergency management or services. I think why, why stick to that? I mean, do you see yeah, a you, benefit? Yeah. Yeah. You, you don't want to tie your hands. You, you want yeah. to be able to be it's too much of a niche. Yeah. If, if you know definitely that you want to stay in the fire career field and you, you can't really go wrong in staying in a fire centric or emergency management occupational safety and health type uh, degree plan. But if you think that that you're going to go some other direction, uh, you know, I think uh, in Chris's personal opinion, it's going, you know, where you're some sort of leadership management, you know, whatever you want to do, MBA, uh, then then go that direction. Uh, it's going to be beneficial if you're still on fire and you still haven't made that jump into the civilian world doing something else. It's still going to help you. It's, it's going to help you in your, your current situation and help you in the future. What is development? At, yep. the, at the core of it, you're, yep. you're challenging yourself. You're getting better. You're yep. investing in your future, no matter what it is. I mean, there's so many people that have degrees in stuff that they've never pursued professionally. Um, and that's okay, I think. You know, it, it, There's nothing, there's no knock on people that do that. So would you, would, would you say, I I think it's really important in where you're making these decisions, you know, at what time in your career are, uh, you know, speaking from the air on the air force side of stuff and FES, if you're making this decision, you know, just coming out of high school or maybe a couple of years after high school, you did maybe did some college and then you joined the air force and came into the, the career field. And, uh, you're like, oh, yeah, I like this, or maybe I don't. I think the decision that you make in your, in your degree path is going to be different than someone that's been invested, you know, 15 years, 10 years, 15 years, you, you know. I think uh, that that definitely has a different weight to it in, in to determining what your degree plan is going to be. I know it, I know it is for me. So it, definitely – when you make that decision, where you are at in your career can definitely change your perspective on what you're going to do. Getting a fire science associate's degree for me was the, the check mark. But when I uh, went to PME, I kind of changed my perspective on what I wanted to do on the outside. So I changed my uh You just changed your plan. major, right? I just changed my major from yeah. emergency management and disaster preparedness so I changed it to business management with a uh, minor in leadership just because I, I know what I want to do now when I grow up. Right. You know what I'm talking about? So when, when you get out, those those things you have to kind of look out for. Like, hey, if you want to stay in and do 30 years or if I even if I want to stay in and do 30 years, I know what I want to do when I get out. So that's that's what led me to change my career plan or my even degree plan. 
I see, I haven't settled on what I want to do when I get out. I think that's going to change minute by minute, probably for the next, you know, 10 or plus years. I don't know. Right, Van? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I'll finish a degree for sure, but um, it's in technical management. I mean, who even knows what that is? Uh, but it'll be a bachelor's degree. It'll be, it'll be a degree. And so I can, I can use that to either pursue a master's or, you know, just go somewhere else that maybe doesn't require a specific type of degree. But I'll still have finished it. So, and, and honestly, a personal goal at this yep. point, I, it's not required. I don't think anyone, anything that I would maybe want to do after may not even require it, but it's just a personal goal. So, yeah, I mean, in where we're at and where we've been, you know, since we've entered, you know, uh, the Air Force and done in, in fire emergency services, there are the requirements, right? So you want to get the most value added to what you're doing. So it may not necessarily be something that you you're you want to do later on in your life, but you know it's a requirement. So you, what what I've done is I've looked at things on hey what what's going to tie to this you know later on in life, and just being in being wiser you know not making the same stupid decisions on certain things you know like uh, what what are those personal investments and then that are going to pay dividends in the long run, you know, what's going to cover more things where I'm not going to get pigeonholed into a, a, a certain, certain thing. So, uh, definitely education is really important. And then, uh, as, as you've been in longer, I, th- I think you got to make on, make the determination on strictly on what do you want to do? You know, not necessarily what the air force wants you to do or, Wherever you're at, what do you want to do? But also look at if what you are doing is something that you want to do, then it, it would benefit you to, to make a determination or a decision on doing something in line with that. You know, it's a win-win for both. Yeah, I know. I know it's tough for the, the younger guys coming in, though. I, I know I didn't see the benefit of getting an education when I came in. I, I know when I joined, I was like, okay, I want to do education and travel the world. My thing was more, hey, let's travel and let's party and let's do my four years and get out. Now, 17 years <laughs> in almost, you know what I mean? Yeah, 12 of them in <laughs> Europe. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So those, those again, those experiences uh, are hard to see when you're just coming in. But setting yourself up for success yeah. at the beginning could have definitely helped in my yeah because you don't know where you're going to be exactly right? like do do what you can early that that may or may not help you later but at least err on the side of success you know right but you got to learn from those other experiences yeah, right sure. so it may suck and it may not be or like hey i wish i would have done this uh before well it's great that you tell somebody mm-hmm. that so that maybe they don't do the same thing mm-hmm. but hey it's a life lesson like yeah. you're able to speak to that. If ever, anybody ever runs into an issue, you know, yeah. similar to that, you can speak to it. Hey, don't do that. I can tell you from personal experience, you know, like uh, if you navigate down that road, this could potentially happen. You know, you're better off doing this. 